Hi again and welcome to The Blueprint. We're now very close to the end of the story of the Gospel of Mark. We're at the end of chapter 15. Mm. Uh, in our previous talk, we just saw Jesus on the cross and we're about to see how he willingly gives up his yeah. spirit. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I'm going to read for us, Garth, because I think it is so... Yeah, so powerfully, yeah. just that we actually go through it like that. And this is now just after the two men hanged next to him. Yeah. And uh, the one went into paradise with him and the other one didn't. Mm. In verse 33, at the six hour darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the, at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice. Elo, elo, lama, how do I pronounce that? Sabachthani, I think. That's my what guess. it is. Which means, this is the important part. My yeah. God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah. And we see there, that was quite some time that Jesus hanged there in agony. It wasn't yes. just a little bit. It was a couple of hours. Mm. Um, and we said previous, he was beaten already beforehand. So it was a whole, it was a whole long process. A long lot of pain. torturing. Yeah. 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 And then, Golf, what do you make out of my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Man, at that moment, Jesus had my sin, mm. your sin, every sin ever committed in the yeah. world on yeah. himself because he didn't die for himself. Yeah. Uh, um, and the worst of sins. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All of that was on top of him. Yeah. And what's so powerful for me just in that scene, I think that's where there's so many characters. You can see it's the Roman soldier's sin. Mm -hmm. what they did to him was actually on him yeah. uh, it's the Sanhedrin's sin mm -hmm. what they did their false accusations and whatever that's on him mm -hmm. the Even murderers on the cross the rebellious what they did, it's on him and every other person you know mm -hmm. uh, including us and at that moment God is holy the Father is holy yeah and so therefore he cannot be with that with sin. sin yeah and so therefore the first time ever mm -hmm. since eternity yeah there's a division between the Son and the Father. Yes. And yeah. that, that is more torture than anything. Up until now, he's never cried out anything. Yeah. He just took it. He took it. Mm -hmm. But now he cried out, oh, why have you forsaken me? Yeah. Yeah. For my sake. For my sake. Yeah. <laughs> it's powerful. And I, I think just the moment before you read about the sun being dark, and it's like a physical, mm -hmm. uh, the light is out. The light is not shining on Jesus anymore. It's yeah. not shining... Um, and then after the light comes back, he says this, why have you forsaken me? Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. And verse 35, let me read and you can comment on that back. Sure. When some of those standing near heard this, they said, listen, he's calling out for Elijah because the name Elijah is Eli. It's, it's something of God mm. in the name. And one man ran and filled a sponge with vinegar. Uh, with wine vinegar so it's another moment where there could be relief mm. just like previous but somebody else said no 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 no. leave him alone let's see if Eli yeah. is going to come yeah. they're wondering there's strange stuff happening here. yeah yeah, yeah. Golf, and then we get to the place where it says with a loud cry Jesus breathed his last yeah. and some of the other gospel says that he willingly gave up he gave it up yeah, yeah. father into your hands yeah. I commit my spirit yes yeah, yeah. Mm. And we see that last part without taking anything to take away the pain. He gave up his breath. His yeah. last breath. You remember earlier in Mark, it came up twice where Jesus actually said, I'm going to die. I'm going to be, oh, I'm going to be handed over to be crucified. And uh, at some stage, he actually says these words. He says, nobody can take my life. Yes. It's mine. I willingly lay To down. give it up and to take it up yeah. again. Yes. And yeah, this mm. is how he dies. Yeah. He says, Father... Here's my spirit. I give it to you. And yeah. who, who does that? <laughs> <laughs> He's just got that authority. Yeah. Now is my moment. I, yes. I give it up. Yeah. Yeah. That's so powerful. Eh? Yeah. Well, nobody can take it from him. He gave my it mind up. just runs for a moment. Um, sure. He could have done that at any stage. Yes. But he yeah. was willing to keep suffer to all of this. Yeah. 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 It, mm. just, it, it doesn't have just remind us of just how special we must be, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that he would do that for us. Yeah. 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 Next thing that happens over there is um, another miracle. I mean, yeah. the sun just got dark over the entire land for three hours. And now the curtain in the temple, it's this massive, massive high curtain. Um, and mm. it covers, that separates the holy and the holy of holies yeah. where only the high priest, priest can go in where the ark of the covenant mm. is that special golden box yes. 
and a toe in the middle from top to bottom <laughs> right how does that even happen yeah. <laughs> you know nobody touching is like how does that happen yeah what's the significance of that Beth? it is that now with through jesus we can go into the holies of holy yeah. we can be with the father it's almost we it's they we don't need that priest that high priest to do it for us anymore yes we don't need him to go into the holies of holies we yeah. can go into the holies of holies that's incredible to think that as he died, he took up our sins for those who believe in him. Yeah. That's, there's no more middleman. <laughs> yeah. There's actually such a beautiful play on words there. But wait, if I can go into the holy of holies, mm. that means I have to be holy. Holy. Yeah. Because nothing unholy can it's, come into the holy of holies. Yeah. Uh, how incredible is that? Yeah. You yeah. know, all my sins Jesus gone. Jesus made us holy. <laughs> yeah. That is very powerful. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then it says, and when the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus heard his cry and saw how he died, he said, surely this man was the son of God. Mm. So just everything happening there, everything becoming dark. I mean, they've crucified how many people and this yeah. has never happened. Mm -mm. Nowhere have they ever seen the sun go dark and the, the, the holy, the curtain tearing. Or none yeah. of those things. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he stands and he's like, this must be the Son of God. Yes. Yeah. This is something very significant. Sure. Another gospel actually says at that moment when he gave up his spirit, there was a great earthquake. Yes. Some detail left out of Mark. And uh, after that earthquake, some of the holy people, some of the saints that lived before, <laughs> came out of their graves and were seen walking around <laughs> in the city. Yeah, what, what is that? That blows your mind a bit away. <laughs> yeah. But, but on the other hand, we have to say, of course, mm. of course, because they died in Christ yes. and Christ just died for their sins. So they're now no longer in purgatory. They're no longer held there in, yeah. in death. Death has to give them up because he died on their place. Yeah. You know, it's, it's amazing. It's so yeah. powerful. Just sorry, yeah. I'm just thinking, like, how must that have been? I mean, yeah, here walks this guy who's been dead for so long yeah. and he's walking around. Right? Yes. Oh. Yeah, having seen stuff that I haven't seen. Eh? He's been places that I haven't been. <laughs> and then comes the burial of Jesus. Mm. Um, so at, th at that moment, it's interesting. It says uh, there were mainly just of the women who followed mm. Jesus standing around. Mm. And maybe they were feeling safer mm. because the men would be caught as part of a rebellion with mm. Jesus or something like that. And the only one among them that we told actually stood at the cross there was John. Yeah. The, the disciple there was something of an encounter with him that even at that moment on the cross Jesus looked to his mother Mary and said woman this now is your son mm. son this is your mother which for me is just such a powerful he's in such agony mm. he's in such incredible pain and yet at that moment he's got such love mm. to say oh I just have to make sure there's oh, somebody to okay. take look after my mom yeah Oh. How beautiful is that, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then comes the burial where one guy, Joseph of Arimathea, is quite a wealthy guy. He's got a tomb of his own, which we told it's, it's pricey back mm. in the day. You just didn't have a tomb, you know? Mm. Rich families had tombs like these. Um, and he came and asked Pilate for the body of Jesus because he wants to go and bury him. And mm. then in the Gospel of John, we read about a character we've met along the way, Nicodemus. Yes. And he's one of the guys who's in the Sanhedrin. Mm. He is this really powerful, uh, um, what's, what's the Pharisee. Mm. And he has the courage at that moment mm. to go with Joseph to bury Jesus. Yeah. He's risking his career. He's risking his life. He's risking yeah. his reputation. Everything is just, I mm. believe. Mm. That's amazing, man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a challenge for every one of us. Will I put myself in his shoes? Yeah. That's it. Whatever cost, Jesus, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> sure. That's yeah. incredible, God. I will be seen with you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He prays for us. Listen, yeah. And just again, that challenge. I think we can put it out. I don't know if mm. you want it back. Um, just like Nicodemus. Mm. Are you not shy to be seen? Mm. I believe in Jesus. Mm. I'm willing to share this message of Jesus. Mm. I, I'm willing to be seen with him. Uh, I'm not shy. 
Yeah, that's a that's a challenge that I pick yeah. up. Yeah, definitely, I agree mm. with you, Garth, so much, and especially where we are today. Mm. Um, we also uh, we're not going to die for <laughs> believing in Jesus. Not now. <laughs> not where we stay. No, yeah. Not where we stay. Mm. Um, but do like you said, he it was different for him. He mm. risked a lot, but just for us, do we risk it? I'm also challenged by that. Yeah, do I risk it. Yeah, because he gave it all. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> every last drop. Yes. Yeah, Jesus, we love mm. you. We love you passionately, Lord. And just like Nicodemus, just like Joseph there mm. in the story, just like the woman around the cross and John who's willing to stand there till the last moment with him, Lord. Yeah. We see your incredible love for us. We see everything that you would give for us, everything that you would go through mm. for every one of us personally, Lord. Uh, and in response, Lord, what else can I do but just say, here I am, Lord. Yeah. Take all of me for mm. you. My entire life, may it glorify you. And may I be a resounding bell mm. ringing out the love of Jesus at any opportunity that I'm given. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. Mm.